All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to explore or continue our exploration of extraction. Uh, we're going to talk about using acid base properties to render certain molecules more or less water soluble. We started this last week. Here is our document that we're going to use. Uh, it has been culled over the years from um, classroom discussions. This was designed in class and it's been improved upon. And I think it's pretty, it's pretty good for us. It's straight from the textbook. We didn't invent any of this stuff. I want to point out these are not, these are not a procedure document. This is not a procedure document. But it's easily converted into a procedure document. I will do the first number here, number one for you, verbally, uh, to a 15 mil centrifuge tube was added uh, 0 0.047 grams of ethyl four amino benzoate and 0 0.52 grams of benzoic acid and 0. Oh, oh, did I say 0.52? Oh, I should be fired, right? Okay, yeah, 0 0.052 and then 0 0.049 grams of uh, nine fluorinone. And if you're wondering what that says is it doesn't matter, it's the color. To remind you, that's the one that has the yellow color. Okay, so everybody's done that already. We've all been milling around getting ready. Um, I'm gonna remind you of something we did last week to make benzoic acid no longer organic soluble benzoic acid does not dissolve in water we, we we did that as a demonstration at the beginning where i tried to just mix those two things together water and benzoic acid and benzoic acid was just sitting there well in experiment 4b we changed the whole ball game because our water had a base in it the water had bicarbonate in it. And bicarbonate reacts with an acid to take its proton off. And we've got that summarized uh, down here on this next page, where we take a carboxylic acid and react it with a base. This week, it's a stronger base, but the concept is the same. The base takes the proton off benzoic acid and makes it into a carboxylate. You've got this in box 10 on your page one where it belongs. And now this is water soluble. Ions are much more polar than neutral compounds. They are inherently more water soluble. And we had numbers to prove it from last week. You get almost zero benzoic acid in the organic layer in 4B because there wasn't any more benzoic acid. You've made it all into benzoate. In 4A, it was benzoic acid and it went to the methylene chloride layer because it's, it follows the rules or the guidelines of solubility. There's only one OH group in this molecule and seven carbons. That's a seven to one ratio of carbons to OH. Our guideline up here says, if your ratio of the number of carbons to the number of OH is greater than four to one, you should expect it to be insoluble that word is used if it's a solid that you're trying to dissolve if you're trying to dissolve a liquid in another liquid here's the word and this means it doesn't dissolve immiscible and so i think these four these three would be liquids they'd be immiscible and i that's pretty got to be a solid that would be insoluble but it's the same idea for all of them so you take the ratio of C's to OH's, and it's a guideline, it's not a rule. Small alcohols are very water soluble because the OH is what's helping the solubility and there's not a big organic portion going against that. The organic portion lowers the solubility, right? So these all have big organic portions and they, wa they wash out the solubility. And even though this has two alcohols, it's got 17 carbons as well, or 14, sorry. And yeah, the ratio is seven to one, greater than four to one, not five. So the interesting thing happens when it's equal to four to one, right? 
three different categories. All have four to one ratio. So can you think of a, a trend that lets us look at the structure and predict which category we're in here? What's the trend? Branching does what to solubility? Up or down? Increases it, yes. This would be a, this is a very interesting molecule, terbutanol. It actually fits both of these, soluble and miscible. Uh, if it's cool in your lab, your terbutyl alcohol is there in a bottle and it's a solid. If it's a warmer lab day, it's there in the bottle and it's a liquid. It's, it's right near its melting point, okay? So depends on the day. If it's, a, if it's a solid, you're gonna say it's soluble. If it's a liquid, you're gonna say miscible. Okay, I think we've had enough of that. Uh, this week, once again, using a stronger base because we wanna make sure it's 100% deprotonated, okay? And when you wanna get your carboxylate back to a carboxylic acid, because remember your goal is to just separate those three chemicals you just weighed. So at the end, I want three separate containers, one with benzoic acid, one with ethyl four amino benzoate, uh, yes, and another with uh, uh, benzo. What? Wait, fluorinone. Yeah, the yellow one. And they're they'll be separate and in their original form. To get the carboxylic acid away from the others, we got to deprotonate it. No longer its original form. It's over here. But it's in water, and the other two stay in the organic layer. So mission accomplished in a sense. You got one of them away from the other two, okay? But in the end, this is the easy part. How do you get that dissolved carboxylate to an insoluble carboxylic acid? And the answer is right here. React it with a strong acid like HCl, and it becomes an insoluble precipitate of carboxylic acid. Uh, amines, uh, if you don't know already, amines are bases. That is the number one thing that should come to your mind. When you hear amine, you think base. Okay, that's their big biological function. Um, if you protonate an amine, which wasn't water soluble, you protonate it, it is usually now water soluble as an ion. It's called an ammonium ion. So what you learned in Chem 141 about ammonium was just a narrow version of a bigger topic. You didn't know that. You thought there was NH4 plus, that's ammonium, that's it. Well, now you know any nitrogen with four bonds and a cation is called an ammonium. It can be organic as well. Here's an ammonium ion, it's soluble. So it's gonna dissolve and it got away from the other layer now. It's now in the water layer. And if you wanna get it back out of the water layer as a precipitate, take its extra proton off with a base. So there you go. So it looks like, because this is steps on that table on the previous page, you'll be doing this one earlier, five and seven, and steps 10 and 12. Here's what's happening during those discussion steps. So first you'll be getting the amine away from the other two chemicals as an ammonium ion in the water layer. Then you get the water layer by itself and uh, deprotonate the ammonium ion. And this will be a precipitate sitting on top of the water layer. How do you think you're gonna isolate the precipitate? You've done this hundreds of times. Ah, filtration, that's right. And you don't have to use your filter pipette because this is a little larger scale. We'll be uh, using a, a Hirsch funnel, a modified Hirsch funnel. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And now in your organic layer are the other two chemicals. They haven't been changed yet. We have nine fluorinone, the yellow solid, and ethyl fluoramino, uh, sorry, benzoic acid. We already got rid of ethyl fluoramino benzoates here. So you take your benzoic acid, deprotonate it, then there's a water layer with the benzoate in it. 
take the water layer and protonate it, and it's a precipitate. Filter. Now you've got two, two solids back in their original form. All that remains now is the fluorinone, which is in your ether layer. It never left. So at the end, you will have a yellow ether layer. Okay? If you get yellow in your other layers, it means your technique wasn't that great. You, you, you snuck a little fluorinone in with your pipette when you shouldn't have. Okay? You'll know it happened because things will be yellow. A little yellow we can live with, but we'd like to avoid it until the end. Okay? So that's that. We're going to go back to our page one. It's all laid out here. I don't think it needs further uh, explanation. Uh, we will be starting right away. <laughs>